What's up, y'all? This is MC Aggie St. James. Um, this is my daily video vlog number 127, I think. Um, sorry for the lighting and for not having no makeup on, but I told y'all I keep it real. So, um, if y'all been keeping up with my vlogs, then y'all are aware that in yesterday's vlog, I was hoping to hear back from the coffee shop manager, man yesterday evening because he told me he was gonna call me yesterday evening well I never got a call from him so I ended up calling him this morning um, a really nice lady picked up the phone I explained the situation how this was in reference to a job position and how um, you know I'd spoken with him and Beth the other manager at one of the other stores and how, um, you know, he had told me that he was going to be calling me yesterday evening, but I didn't hear from him. I'm sure he just got caught up and got busy, but I'm just calling him to see, you know, to follow through and to see, you know, what we can do from this point. And she was nice. And she said that he's having to manage several of their coffee uh, stores in the local area. And so he's just been going back to back from store to store trying to double manage all these stores and that he probably did either forget um, accidentally or has just been tied up busy, you know, trying to manage all these stores. And I get it. I understand. But it doesn't help my situation. You, you feel me? So um, I just asked if she would take my name and my number. And um, I was like, does he have a desk there in his office? And she said, yes, he does. And I said, well, could you just please give him my name and my number? He already knows who I am, so I just really need to give you my first name. And this is my telephone number. This is my cell number, you know. So if you could just put a note on his desk, I would really appreciate it. Um, and she even checked to see when he was going to be managing that store again, you know, coming back again. She said, well, he won't be back here until Friday. Um, but I, I, I will put this note on his desk and she was really nice and I can tell she was genuine. So I'm hoping that if he has forgotten, I'm thinking he probably just forgot. Um, then come Friday morning when he goes back to that coffee shop and goes and walks in his office, he'll see the note right there that I, that, you know, Agatha has called, you know, so I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to stay optimistic. I've had moments today where I've broken down in tears um, it's, it's really big and it's really heavy for me, y'all. I don't think y'all understand. Um, so I, I'm just trying to keep my mind occupied. I filled out some more applications today, even at the post office. I mean, just whatever I can get right now. Um, Craigslist, I'm not finding to be very helpful just because a lot of these applic um, a lot of these job offers, that go up on Craigslist, you'll fill out the applications, it'll say submitted, but you never get a call. And then when you call, it's like they don't know what you're talking about or whatever. Um, I've tried all the sites that you can try, people. So you can leave the comments below if you'd like on other sites, but trust and believe. I am with, I'm even with email blast job search sites, okay? I mean, there's like 10 to 15 that send me emails every day. And I fill out these applications just for nothing to come through still. So I'm not claiming that that's what's going to happen from here on out. I'm just trying to keep it real and explain to y'all what's going on. Um, I'm filling out these applications and I'm giving these people calls. And it's just nobody's hiring right now because it's not close enough to the holidays yet for them to hire. So it doesn't help my job situation right now. Um, and it's real easy to look the other way when you're not in that person's situation. You know, when you've got food on your table to feed yourself and your kids, when you've got money to pay your bills, you feel what I'm saying? It's real easy to look the other way, but just stop and think for a moment. Let's just say that, you know, you got a call and they was like, um, we don't need you anymore. Just let's say one day you got a call and your job was like, we don't need you anymore. Or they were like, we're cutting back your hours down to 10, 15 hours a week. Or let's say your benefits, um, you know, if you're retired or if you um, are self-employed even. Let's just say shit hit the fan, especially with the economy the way it is. And you started to not see 
the income that you were used to getting, that you got so comfortable in getting and, 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 and got comfortable in knowing that you were going to re, um, receive every week or every other week or once a month. Let's just say that happened to you. God forbid, but let's just say for a moment. How shocked would you be? And what the fuck would you do? You feel me? And then on top of that, you know, if you rent your place, let's say your rent's due in three weeks from that point of you finding this out. Okay? If you own your home, let's say your mortgage payment is due in three weeks. So it, it really put, puts into sus, um, suspect. It really puts into perspective about what I'm going through, you know, to help people better understand what I'm going through. You know, I don't have money to eat by the time the bills are paid. And I'm hoping that the job that I get, because I honestly believe something's going to come through. It's just not coming, it's just not working quick enough for me. I need a miracle from God and it's just not coming quick enough for me. But I'm trying my hardest to be patient. I'm trying my hardest to stay positive, people. I'm doing the best I can. To stay positive and, 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 and every time I cry, wipe away a tear because I know it's going to work out. But before I start busting out in tears again, let me just get off of that. But I just wanted to put that into perspective for y'all about my situation. Um, so there you go. Um, I'm just, and then the other job that I told y'all that my friend works at, um, I'm still waiting to hear back from him. His boss was the one that contacted him asking him if he knew of anybody that needed any help. Um, not that needed any help, but, but that was willing to get hired, work the hours, be willing to get trained, you know, on the job training. And, you know, bless his heart, he has gone to his boss and asked about my application she informed him that the applications go to corporate and then they, they, you know, forward over to each location. The applicants that have filled out applications within that area. Um, and I'm just sitting here thinking, you know, if she already knows my name and knows who I am based off of, a, a, you know, a current employee, why not just call corporate and ask for my application to be forwarded over to her. I don't I don't understand why she can't just make a call and do that. But you know, I don't know what's going on with that. I know he's doing the best he can to help me out with getting that job job position and I'm very grateful for that. Um, but each and every day the clock keeps ticking. You feel me? Each and every day. So I'm just, you know, I'm doing all I can, but at the same time, I'm trying not to engulf myself in stress because I will give myself a fucking heart attack if I do this shit. I'm telling y'all, I, I, so I'm trying to try to find a medium. I'm trying to find a medium. Shit is really hard right now in the economy. And, and every day I turn on the news, not turn on the news, but watch the news on YouTube and I stroll through Facebook. And all these social sites, I keep seeing the unemployment rate getting even higher and higher and higher. So I know I'm not the only one in this situation. I know my situation could be a whole lot worse. And thank God it is not. Thank God. Um, but it's still really tough. It is very, very tough right now. So I'm just trying to do all I can to find some fucking peace of mind in my head wherever I can fit it in whatever little crease I can fit it I'm just trying to find some peace of mind so with that said this is my vlog for this evening I'm sorry if I sound frustrated because I am frustrated if y'all have been in my shoes right now and filled out all the apps that I have filled out and not gotten one single you would be frustrated and then even when you take the initiative to call these people back only for them to be like, well, call us back in about a month and a half. Call us back in October when it gets closer to the holidays. And I just feel like saying, woman, I don't have that time. You know? But I get it, right? I get it. They're good. They got a job. So all these, all of these managers that are throwing around applications 
and resumes, just like Robert said, like diapers. Not diapers, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, it came out wrong. But like trash is what he said. Robert was saying in an email to me that, you know, I know Robert's busting out laughing right now. I'm talking about some diapers. I ain't saying nothing about diapers. <laughs> but listen, damn it, I'm just trying to get my words right. Y'all know I be fucking up my words sometimes. But just like Robert said in an email to me today, he was like, you know, and he even made the same point, you know. The reason why they're not hurrying to try to call back people is because they're good. You know, they got their bills paid. Their kids eat and go to bed full every single motherfucking night. You feel me? Their tummies are full. They're cool. They're good. They got, you know, whatever they need, the little materialistic shit, they're fine. And they're just throwing these people's applications and resumes around like it's trash. Is what I'm trying to say. Trash. Um... And Robert has got such a great point because that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. Um, and it's just really sad, you know? It's just really sad, especially when you're doing all you can. You know, I'm a firm believer that people are more willing to help you when you help yourself. And I do nothing but help myself. I do nothing but get out there and do what the fuck I have to do to make ends meet. That's why I'm here today, because I'm a go-getter. That's why I'm here today, because I'm a leader. That's why I'm here today, because I take the initiative in every fucking thing I do. And that's why I'm here today, and that's why I'm a strong woman. Yes, this is hard for me right now, but I can't give up, because I have a daughter. I have to keep going. And if it wasn't for my sister Tara, and my daughter, I don't know where the fuck I would be. And that's just fucking real, 100%. So, I, I, I give nothing but respect and love to my sister Tara. Um, and nothing but respect and love to my daughter Egypt. And she sees when I'm sad. She sees when I'm worrying about something. Like I said, I'm very empathic and very intuitive. And she is as well. Um... And, and she can pick up on stuff like nothing. She can pick up on stuff at the drop of a dime. So, you know, even when I'm trying to hide and hide the tears, she can pick up on it. So, uh, you know, I'm just really praying. I'm really praying for, for a miracle, for God to give me a miracle right now and for something to come through. But enough with the job situation. I just really wanted to fill y'all in because I've been seeing all of these beautiful comments on, on my subscribers saying, you know, I've got my fingers crossed. You know, you're in my thoughts. You're in my prayers. You know, I'm, 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 I'm there with you, girl. I'm, I'm, I'm praying something comes through, you know. So I wanted to just really dig deep and touch on that, you know, touch and touch base with y'all on that and let y'all know, you know, by by giving y'all this update. So, um, I do have some good news, though, on something I mentioned in yesterday's vlog. Y'all know how I was talking about how I know I got something in the backyard, whether it be in the damn bamboo forest or just in the backyard. You know how I was telling y'all how I know in my gut, ever since I moved in here, I feel like something is buried back there. <coughs> and I don't know what it is. Um, well... My sister Tara, because she's very busy with her job and and with her beautiful son Ramsey, which is my daughter's hus future husband, by the way. We done already put it in stone. Anywho, moving on. Um. So, you know, she gets busy with work and can't watch my vlogs, you know, on an everyday basis like a lot of my subscribers do, faithfully. Um, so when she's able, she'll, she'll watch one of my vlogs, even though she's missed like 10 or 20, she'll, she'll watch the one that she has time to watch. Well, it just so happened she happened to find some time in her schedule to watch my vlog from yesterday about this, about how I've been wanting a metal detector and whatnot and how I feel like something's buried in my backyard that it's meant for me to discover. You know, she can be with me, helping me. Shoot, even her husband can come. I mean, I just I just know something's back there. Um, and I'm praying to God it's some gold or some treasure or something. But anywho, let me move on. So, 
She's watching this vlog, right? And she's listening and watching me talk about how I've always wanted a metal detector because I always have. Um, because it's going to take... Me and Asia went back there today and did some digging, but it, it's impossible. I mean, it's, it's, it's really impossible without a metal detector to find anything because you don't know where to go. You know what I mean? And it was hot outside, and even my daughter was like, Mommy, it's too hot. Can we please go back inside? And there was bumblebees. So, y'all know I don't do insects. So, um, anywho... So we tried, damn it, but it didn't work. So, anywho, so Tara was watching the vlog, you know, and then this morning, um, her 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 husband let her know that um, his sister's husband um, is giving them a metal detector out of absolutely nowhere y'all I kid y'all not I kid you not like this is so God okay and not only is it just a metal detector it's like the best metal detector you can get it's like top grade military metal detector the shit the military soldiers use to find shit and I'm so excited and so she even told me she was like I mean it was as if God was telling me, you know, that this is, that, you know, something is back there. And this is just confirmation of that fact. And so, um, hopefully she'll be able to make it over here this week. Um, and we can get back there and try to use it. Um, and that way when it go, you know, that way when we're walking around, we wait for it to go off. And then we know something's below our feet. You feel me? Um, but I just don't know what it could be. I mean, it could be gold. It could be treasure. It could be something huge. It could be something archaeological, you know, that would still bring me, you know, money. But um, I just hope it's something great because I could really use the help right now financially. I'm not going to lie. And... Um, and I, I would love to touch something that hadn't been touched in years. You know what I'm saying? Like something archaeological. I think that would be fucking amazing. So, anywho, I'm going to end this daily video vlog for right now. I was not even intending for this to go this long. But I really wanted to fill y'all in on the job situation. So, I'm hoping that um, I'll get a call from him from the coffee shop manager man at least on Friday if nothing else and I hope this woman gets my application forwarded to her if not tomorrow then by Friday I'm still filling out apps I'm doing all I can and um, I'm praying for a miracle so I love each and every one of y'all and this is once again MC Aggie St. James and I'm out